Hey, it's your daily hour with me. Hey, look, we're on TV. Look, we're on TV. Yeah. You've been on TV before? Yep. Yeah, when? It's on your show. On the show? Yeah. Yeah? How you been doing? I'm pretty good. You see anything on the streets that's been exciting lately? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Talk right into your mic. Oh, yeah, like okay. That. There we go. Nothing? No. You've been watching the show? Uh, not too much. You know what happens on the show? Talk for an hour. Yep. Single day. Yep. We call McDonald's. Yep. That's right. That's right. We turn on the machines and we start talking. And we talk for one hour and that's the program. So here we're going through. We got a bunch of voicemails today. But I want to start it off by calling Freddy. Seeing how the production end is going. Uh oh. Let's go. Hey, we're Freddy Dober. Oh. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Who's Freddy? Uh, he's the producer. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. We just started the show. You have 58 minutes to call back and see if you can make it on. Yeah. Hi, Freddy. Thanks. Okay, bye bye. All right, that was Freddy. Left a message for him here. Here's a voicemail from a stranger. So you just left a really insulting message on my phone. This is Matt Olson, by the way, so you know. Um, I don't really have a comeback to the horrible, horrible things you said about me. Um, don't put this on the show or anything, because that would be fucking stupid. Um, uh, uh, I don't even know why I called back. I don't care. Yeah. I'm hungry. I didn't have some carrots left in my fridge. I'm gonna have some carrots. Message is long. Where I have no, where the fucking carrots go? Oh, here we go. Hey, you know what's less interesting than listening to me eating a carrot and not saying anything? Your show. Your show is less interesting than that. Um, so, you know, I just, this might improve things a little better if you just play the sound of me eating a carrot instead of what you normally do. All right, here we go. He's eating a carrot now. Not very nice. Yeah, he's a mean guy. I don't know why he left. It. He, that was kind of a mean message, huh? That guy's a jerk. You think he's a jerk? Yep. Or everybody thinks Matt's a jerk. Hey, have you noticed how expensive Goodwill's gotten? Like, everything is really ridiculously priced, it seems considering they get everything for free, and, like, a lot of it is kind of shit, you know? Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. Yo, this is, uh, almost every other Monday Dan guest. This is the mic that I fixed. Can you hear the echo? The echo? Yes. So, I'm watching the show, and I like it. Yes, I like it a lot. And I want to say that, um, oh, I don't know. I just like in the echo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll okay. call you back. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, Dan. Uh, that was Dan. Dan, uh, Dan uh, Bennett. 
And we're going to move on and see who else is there. We've got a lot more messages. We've got a good amount of messages today. People call in, uh, they like to call in bursts, you know? I think yesterday we had, like, no messages. Yo, this is almost every Monday, Dan, and I'm calling back with, you know, trying to be a little bit more serious. Um, like I said, I fixed your mic, and uh, second, I'm feeling better than I was when you called, um, is it Tuesday, Wednesday? I don't know. When, whenever it was that you called. And so, uh, yeah, I was probably sleeping. That's why. Um, secondly, your mic is fixed and uh, required a little bit of effort, but it works great. And uh, I will be glad to introduce it to the program when I show up next Monday. <laughs> uh, also, your guest, I don't know his name, he asked a question, uh, and the question was, uh, does being the Olympia mayor seem less important or something like that? And uh, I have to say, Olympia is the capital of Washington. Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. It is the capital of an entire state. So whatever the mayor says and does, that's going to have an influence on the legislature, which okay. is in Olympia. That's right. Wow. Yes, the state yeah. legislature. So I like to think that what happens here in Olympia has an effect on the geopolitical state thing going on in the state. Yeah. 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 Oh, and also, I have pink eye. Oh. Yes, that's right, pink eye. Also known as conjunctivitis. Yes. Gross. They never quite know if it's viral or bacterial, but they always give you eye drops. Yes, and you add the eye drops and, you know... I'm grateful because it makes my eye less pink Ooh. and less conjunctivitisnessness. Yeah. Yucky. So I uh, will call back later. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, also, I was there Saturday and I was happy to be helpful for your show and uh, meet the uh, mayor pro tem, sort of, maybe, possibly, if she's elected. And uh, the other thing that I was glad to be able to do was to leave uh, a question. And that was regarding these anti-panhandling signs that are placed, you know. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'm kind of worried. Dan is on the show a lot, and I don't – I hope he doesn't give us conjunctivitis. That would be bad. Hey, guys. Can y'all call Sherry's Restaurant? The number is area code 360-438-1337. And just ask questions. I think that would be hilarious. Oh, yeah, here's a little beatbox for you. <laughs> Rep that. Uh -huh. He wants us to call Sherry's. We can do that. You want to call Sherry's? Uh-oh. What? Did you talk to your mic? <laughs> sure. Sure? Okay. We'll call, this, we'll call it Sherry's. Uh, this guy thinks it'd be hilarious, this beatboxing guy. Sherry's, do you, you like Sherry's? No. What's your favorite place? You like Denny's more? Yeah. Sh but Sherry, they're both open 24 hours? Yeah, Sherry's is open 24 hours. Let's see, where is Sherry's in Washington State? Sherry's, Washington State. Uh-oh. Maybe the number. Oh, yeah. I don't want to call that Sherry's. I'm going to call a different one. Let's call, oh, uh, where is Sherry's Pet Grooming? I don't know if he spelled Sherry's right. We're going to find the Sherry's here to call it to this guy who wants us to call Sherry's. Sherry's Berries. Uh, what should I look for? Sherry's restaurant? Is it like this? Yeah, it's both. I figured it out. All right. I, I can't hear you very much. Are you, are you talking right into your mic? Okay. There you go, yeah. Now we're going to look up Sherry's here. Still doing that. Calling Sherry's. See how the Sherry's is doing. 
Say, hey, Sherry's, how you doing today? Sherry's restaurant here, Renton, Washington. What, are you, what, are you, what should we ask them? I don't know. What's their, what's their, what's their specials? <coughs> what's their pie? What kind of pie they got right now? <coughs> cooking a pie, you like cooking a pie? Thanks for choosing Renton Jerry. Some of the best pies in the Northwest. How may I help you? Hey, do you guys have any peanut butter pies right now? Peanut butter chocolate pies? Yes. Do you have that? Gosh. I'm going to go look for just a moment. Oh, okay. Cold. This is going to be hilarious. That's what that guy thinks. Yeah. Hey, guys. Can y'all call Sherry's Rest? Yes, we can. Right. The number is area. He's checking on the pies. Eight one three three seven, and just ask questions. I think that'd be hilarious. Hilarious. Questions. I think that'd be hilarious. Oh yeah, here's a little beatbox for you. He's checking. He's checking. It's exciting. What do you think? Do you think they're gonna have them? I have never heard of a peanut butter chocolate pie. So you think they're not gonna have it? I don't know. Like, I heard of it. That guy, yeah, that guy knows about it, right? So maybe they'll have it. I don't like Sherry's pie. I can have one ready for you in about a few minutes. Oh, you had to... Hello? Yes, hello? You had to cook them, or...? No. Oh, they they are there? Yes. Oh, that sounds good. Thank you very much. Sure. Hilarious. Yeah, let's call these people back. They uh, they called a bunch of times, but we never answered. So let's call them back and see how they're doing today. Who is it? I don't know. It's a stranger. <coughs> oh wait, this is the this is the Sherry's guy. This is the Sherry's guy. We're calling him back now. Oh, okay. Hey, your daily hours, man. What's happening? Uh. To me. All right, goodbye. Uh, that was Lewis. We'll call Lewis after this guy. This is Tommy. Call me back. Hi. <laughs> he likes beatboxing. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Tommy. Hey, it's it's the program. Uh, call us back. The number is three three zero five three six three eight zero two. And you called us, so we're calling you back. Thanks. Uh, here's some beatboxing. All right. So that was uh, we beatboxed back to him. And we don't want to. You don't want to beatbox? You ever no. tried to beatbox before? No. Nope. You ever heard of beatboxing at school? People box beatbox around? Not really. Not in the hallway? We're, we're calling Lewis back now. Hey, this is the program. Hey, hey, Lewis. Hey. Hey, say hi, Lewis. Hi. Hey, who's that? Can you sister? Oh. It's Lewis. Hi. Hey, Lewis. Hey, How you doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty all right. Well, hey, we're about 15 minutes into the show. We're just starting it up, kind of. Uh, you seen anything on the streets lately? Uh, no, I haven't really been on the street too much. I must say I've been at work. So the other day I had a really a old school pizza made me have a have a really bad day at work. Oh yeah? It made me really tired. So I couldn't lift things. What happened? Just what, I just ate it and I got really tired. And then I had to lift some stuff. 
And it made it really hard being tired. Yeah. There for eight hours. That's pretty tough. So, but you ate and and the, the pizza made you tired. Yep. It was like I, I guess I was like sort of feeling sick, but like right after I ate it, I just felt like really tired. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I just will not eat old school pizza ever before work. Yeah. Well, do you uh, do you are you having a good time at work overall though, or is just that one thing? It's a, uh, it's hard. Yeah, it was like that one day was pretty hard, but other than that, it's like pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I still don't want to say where I work, but I will say that uh, I've seen Marquise Dobler at my work twice. While you were working? Yeah. Don't you work at nights though? Yeah, but the place that I'm, I work, it's open right when I get there. Oh. Like at the beginning of my shift, so that's when I are. I see, and then they close down while you're there? Yep. That's fun. Well, Lewis, you, did you call you? I mean, we're calling you back. You left a message. What was your message about? Uh, it's like, just like saying what's up. Well, yeah. Not really. That's Good exciting. Point. Do you have any plans for Saturday? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we could just do a normal show. Uh, we could try to do that thing we go in front of that city hall. Oh, yeah, try to go to a park? Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere with an outlet. Yeah, we'll see how the weather is, I guess. Yeah. All right, do you have anything you want to say to my sister? Um, what was Ken like as a kid? <laughs> Uh, really smart. I don't know. I was smart. <laughs> smart kid. Smart kid. Yeah. Th thanks, Emma. Well, that's nice to say. <laughs> okay, Lois. Well, thanks for calling. All right. Thanks for calling me back. Okay. See you later. See ya. That was Lewis. Here's a message from John Webster. Hi there, Kenny. This is John Webster speaking. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I would like to, uh, I would like to give you my, uh, my cell phone number. And see where is it? My cell phone number. And it's, uh, it's remake. Uh huh. It's remake. Okay, John. My cell phone number. Yes. But uh, it, when I'm not at, when I'm not home, you can give me a call on my cell phone. Uh huh. Uh, two five zero uh -huh. zero two eight seven. Okay. Uh, if I'm home, give me a call on my home phone. Uh, four five nine. On my home phone. How am I supposed my to know My cell phone number phone? is uh, two five zero. Zero two eight. Give me a call. This uh, this is your daily hour with me, John Webster. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And I'm your uh, not John M or anything else. John Webster. Uh huh. John Webster. W e b s t e r. John Webster. John Webster. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, John. Just wanted to say hello. Hi. On. Daily Hour with me, John Webster. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's call John Webster back. Hello? Oh. Are you going to... Oh. Are you going to vote? You're not going to vote for the Olympia Mayor because you don't live around here anymore, huh? I can still vote because I'm still registered to live at home. We're getting the, uh, the mayor candidates on the show. So the people who are running for mayor, they're all going to be on the show. That's cool. So we're going we're gonna to decide the vote. Oh! Oh, hey, John! Hello? John? Hello, John, are you there? Oh. What? Hello, John? 
He said, I can hear his TV. John, I can hear your TV. What is that from? Are we supposed to, maybe we should call his home phone. Who's this guy? John Webster. Let's call his home phone, because he's taking, something's wrong with the other one, I guess. That was weird. John Webster is a guy, he likes to go to city, Olympia City Council meetings. He was on the show in the past. He, uh, yeah, he's a, du- he's a dude, he's from Lacey. He has a pool. So like on the show, on the show, or just called in? He, he has been on the show in the past, and he's called in. He's done both. He calls in a lot. And John Webster's the resident. Hey, John, it's the show. Hello. How you doing? Hey, we're doing good. How are you? I'll do everything with the... Oh, <laughs> now I got it on. Just wait a minute. I'm going to... Uh, what? Oh. You know with me. Yeah, are you, wa- are you watching the show or something? How, what is that noise? No, the... Uh, I got your, uh, uh, I got, you rang, you rang up on my, uh, cell phone that's where I was uh, trying to an- answer. Oh, yeah, but it wasn't working too good. So, yeah, we're calling you back. You called us. How you been doing? If you, uh, how's, how's the Lacey City Council oh, just going? Wait a minute, just wait a minute. Okay. What? How's the Lacey? Yes? Okay. How? I got you on the uh, speakerphone on my, uh, home phone. Oh, all right. Hey, how's the Lacey City Council? Uh, they got a city council meeting tonight. I, uh, I talked to Robert, and they got a city council meeting tonight. And it's live on Channel 3 tonight, if you want watch, to watch it. Oh, do you know what the topics are? Uh, let's see, where is it? I got the... Uh, I'm going to be leaving. Uh, I'm going to be leaving to go to uh, Lake City Hall. It's, uh... uh Let's see. Uh, they have the Pledge of Allegiance of the Flag, approval of the gender and consent agenda, uh, gender items, like uh, A, work session meeting minutes of April 21st, and then B, joint work session meeting uh, minutes of April 21st, 2011. Then uh, they have a public recognition and presentation uh, recognition of had uh, something for uh, 20 years of service with the city of Lacey, Scott Ager. We'll be doing that. Then B, citizens accommodation to Eric Nelson, Dusty Perfoyne. We'll be doing that. Uh, all right. And, every, and everything else. And then after the, after the city council meetings, over, they're going to have a work, work session. Oh, yeah. That's, are you going to do that, too? I'm gonna stay for the work. I'm gonna stay for the work session too. What's a work session? Uh, I don't know. Oh, all right. Hey, we oh, talked. Oh, the works. One of it. Uh, urban. Uh, ur- urban chicken update. Uh, Dave Burns will be talking about that, and then after that, Shoreline Master Program update. Uh huh. With Burns, and then uh, condominium ordinance. Uh, Dave Burns. Oh, all right. That's for the work for the work sessions. That sounds Three good. Top. Hey, how did uh, Karen Rogers' uh, deal come out on the on the seventh of uh, on the seventh of May? Oh, that was that was good. We're gonna she's gonna be on. Uh, yeah, that's coming Saturday. Yes, on TV on the fourteenth. Yes. Uh huh. I'll be. I'll watch. I'll watch that. All right. I've I've, I've been trying to call Dick Poos too. We have a message from Dick. That we haven't listened to yet. Ah, I know you were trying to uh, give him a call, uh, so he didn't. Uh, uh, he didn't get. Uh, he didn't uh, respond to your message, then, huh? Oh, he did. So we, he called us back, and we're going to talk to him. He's going to be on the show sometime in, in the future. Ah. Yeah, our phones were down, so we didn't get a chance to call you when Karen Rogers was was there. We were going to call you, but our phones weren't working. I heard. I know you were trying to call. I know you were trying to call me because I heard, I heard, uh, I was watching the uh, stuff on TV. Yeah. At, um, at 11:30. Yes. So have you been watching the show instead of Jay Leno? Did you switch over to us? Are you still watching Jay Leno sometimes? Oh, switch. I switch off and on. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh huh. Well, 
Hey, John, so that's, that's pretty good. Do you want to come back onto the show sometime soon? Uh, yep. Maybe uh, Thursday? I'll, 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 surprise, I'll surprise you anyway, because uh, North Thurston's all done with their baseball uh, all, all done with their baseball season. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, do you want to come back onto the show next Thursday? Next Thursday, I'm going to the uh, Thurston County Jail. I'm on the, I'm on the jail ministry. Oh, how about on Wednesday? Uh, at, uh I'm gonna, I wanna check with, um, uh, I'll check with, um, see if the if there's any school, uh, boost club meeting, I'm gonna go to that. Okay. Board. Well, you can probably do that this I'll show. I'll give you a call anyway. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. What's the uh -huh. what's the thing on Thursday that you're doing? Uh, next Thursday, instead of this Thursday, I'm going to be going to the jail, uh, to the first county jail where you pray for the prisoners. Oh, you pray with them, or are they there we, with you? We pray for the prisoners. That's fun. They what have, are you? They a, have, what they have Bible studies on Thursdays. Oh, okay. With the with the prisoners. Hey, what are you? Do you go to church? Yes, I go to St. Benedict's Episcopal Church. That that's right next to Sacred Heart Catholic Church. It's a it, what what branch of religion is it? It's Episcopal. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. That's pretty good. So maybe you can come back on Wednesday, maybe. So uh, yeah, figure out your schedule, and if not not on Wednesday, then maybe Friday. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't have anybody else. You can come on pretty much any day. So just figure out what day you want to come on, and then just give me a call back. All right. Alrighty. That sounds good. Okay, John. Well, thanks a lot. We'll we'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you, oh, you're not on the air today. You you're all done with the uh, the program today. Oh no, we still have another half an hour. Do you have anything else you want to say? I'm still looking for a girlfriend there. Uh, everybody out there in TV land. Yeah, we've been saying that. We're gonna put you on the on the on the thing. You see up here. We we'll see where it says uh. My sister's here, up here on where it says the number and stuff. Yeah, it's no, up, up there. here. What? Right there, yeah, yeah, right up there. Oh. You see? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you were looking at it. You were looking at the right spot. So it's right up there. You see? Yeah. Uh, yep. that's gonna be. Yeah, we're gonna put you on the on the list. It says gonna up here. It's gonna say John Webster wants a girlfriend. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna find you. We're looking. We're we're trying to help you find a girlfriend, John. Look at uh, you know. Uh, Match dot com uh, or dating on demand and stuff. Like, you know, there's every, everything on there. Uh huh. You're on there. You're no, I like I like someone to look for uh, for me. Okay. Well, John, we'll try to look for you a girlfriend for you, and uh, so and well, you'll get back on here and you can keep looking for a girlfriend yourself too. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, John. Okay. We'll we'll talk to you later. Oh, when you when you're talking, I hate listen to the the ocean stuff. Uh, if you take up the ocean stuff, uh, I uh, I can hear you. I can hear you better. You know, on, uh, when I'm watching you on TV, just take up the ocean. That ocean sound. You can uh, it sounds better with the ocean uh, the ocean off. Oh, okay. O the ocean sound off. I'll turn it down. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, okay, John. Thanks. Okay, have a good uh, uh, have a good day hour with me. Yeah. All right. Call us back. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. I'll be watching you tonight. All uh, right. Watch, uh, let's see. I'll be watching last week's uh, uh, for you know for tonight. Hey, you're there. Yes. Okay. Uh, thanks. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. All right. We got this call from Freddie. Let's call Freddie back. Uh oh, wait, what's going on here? Well, any ladies out there who to call in for John sometime? <laughs> yeah, try to find John. John's hey, you're there with me. This is Freddie. I was just calling uh, because I saw that I missed a call from you. I'm at TCTV. Oh, we're right halfway now. through the program. Uh, Freddie, how can I help you? Anyway, yeah, hopefully. Hey, Freddie, it's the day. program. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, we're doing good. We just got halfway through the program, so it's uh, we're just into. S s wait, what day? Oh, Friday, yes. Friday. Friday just Friday happened. As oh, it's Friday now. As it was ringing, Friday the 13th. Oh, no, no, that was last week. 
Oh, hold on, I gotta call on the other line. One second. Let me All right. Put it on hold. We're on hold now. Hold's pretty nice, huh? Oh, hey, are you oh. still there? Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're having a good time being on hold, but how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, it's not too busy here, but we're getting a lot of phone calls today. It's pretty crazy. I don't usually get this many phone calls. Oh yeah, that's pretty exciting. What's what's going on in the studio? Anything? No, nothing. We got a couple editors, but uh, everything's pretty quiet right now. Dan is sick with his second illness. He got now. pink eye. Yeah, Dan has pink eye. That is bad. That is a nasty one. Gross. Conjunctivitis. Yeah. That's the big talk of the town, so. It's talk uh, of the town? Ew, everybody's getting conjunctivitis? No, just that everyone's talking about Dan having it. Oh, that's that's and really gross. Worrying about us because, you know, we're all here working with him, so. Yeah, and you put your, uh, don't put your eyes in any cameras, you know? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should clean all the lens cap, the, the viewfinders. Yeah. I hope he hasn't been doing that. That might be how he <laughs> how he got it in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Another. Um, I also uh, like lost my phone charger in Seattle, so now my phone is dead. And um, you know, sir. Oh. Oh, uh, there's another phone call. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hey. Hello. Going back on. My my dad's calling us. <laughs> Put on speakerphone. Right yeah, you'll see. I'll be on TV. I'll see. You. Okay, I'm back. Wait, uh, let's say hi to my dad on TV. Hi, Dad. Oh, hey, Dad. Wait, where's the... Do you want to go eat at the Mexican place over by Epicure Yeah, all right. So that was my dad. Yeah, he's on the phone there. So, Freddie, how's the production end going? Uh, going good. Okay. We're capturing some stuff. Still haven't gotten any uh, forward momentum on the YouTube thing, but um, that's going to be today. I That new hard drive caused me all kinds of issues, like the... Um, I couldn't get my computer to read it, and then I had to update to the new operating system. And then Final Cut won't work because I lost the serial code. So I'm working through some kinks, but uh, I'm here at TCTV, and I'm going to hopefully get some stuff going tonight. Oh, that's fun. Um, yeah, because the Jets, the Jets have been uh, requesting. You. Yeah, that's okay. yeah, I understand I, that up there for them. I'll, I'll make sure that to tag them in, in the ones that they're in. Yes, for the Jets. That sounds pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that's that's exciting. We talked to John Webster, and John Webster is going to come back. And uh, we also got a message from uh, Dick Poost. He's going to come back as well. So we're doing pretty good here. Oh, good. You got any guests in the studio today? Uh, yeah, my sister is here. Oh, she, hey, what's going on? She is taking a personal phone call right now, but she was here. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, what, that's what's going on here. Uh, yeah, you know. Same things every day. We're doing. We're we're getting through it. Uh, we don't have any any more plans for the future. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. I'm trying to maybe figure out another field trip. I think if it's a nice day, we might go to the park on <laughs> Saturday. Oh, nice. That's a good idea. Are you working Bring on Are you working on park? Saturday? I'm not working on Saturday. Yeah, you, you want to go to I think a park? We have band park? practice in the in sometime in the day, but we should totally do that. That sounds great. Yes, I think what we're gonna do is just go look for an outlet anywhere we can find an outlet that's out in the middle of nowhere and plug it in. Cool. Yeah, we can move the couch with my van, or maybe we don't need a couch. I don't know. Yes. Is it? Is this on? No. Nope. No, I can hear oh. it a little bit. No. Nope. Wait. Oh. Talk now. Yeah. Is that working? There. Can you hear? Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello. hey. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Glad to hear it. Yeah, that's hey, good. Hey, do you guys want to talk to anyone else who's uh, here? John John Horseman's here in this in the uh, TCTV and. Um, my sister Martis is here, and Aviva's here. Uh, we could talk to any of them, I guess. What is John Horseman doing? Uh, he's just hanging out. Want me to see if he wants to talk to you guys? Okay. Okay, one second. You know John Horseman? Nope. nope. He's a, uh, he's a guy. Uh-oh. Oh, Hello. Oh, hey, John. What's happening? Not much. How are you doing? 
doing fine. So, hey, John, this is the show that you were on the other day with, you know, remember with Karen Rogers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I watched your show. Hey, how's your eye doing since you got hit in the eye? Are you doing better? Oh, somewhat better, yeah. Can yeah, I, I got an appointment on Tuesday the 20th, I mean Friday the 20th, uh, to, to go up to the coma to see the specialist. Uh-huh. Yep. So can you see out of it yet? Uh, yes. Oh, that's good. How's your cat? Yeah. How's your cat oh, doing? Just, oh, she's doing fine, but uh, she's kind of mad at me since I moved over to a new place. Oh, you moved? Because yep. of your neighbors, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, me and my friend Sandra moved out because of them people. Yeah, they hit, they're, they're mean, right? They hit you, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, they said that's what caused the rat that to detach. It's when he hit me. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I watched your episode. I, so he, he hit you because you stepped on a sandwich, right? Yep, I sure did. And I asked him, what would he have, why'd you hit me? I said, what would you have done if the nearest dog a ate your sandwich. He got mad. He hit me again. Oh, what? Yeah, he hit me again. Hey, why? The, he just left his sandwich on the steps? Yep, and, and the dog ate it. I mean, I stepped on it. Now, I, I, I asked him, what would he have done? You know, if, if the dog would have ate your sandwich, he got mad and hit me in the eye again. Oh. How, so, uh -huh. did you did you try to press charges against this kid or anything? or? Well... Well, there wasn't no witnesses because I went to Safe Place, downtown Olympia, and talked to the advocate about the situation. She, she called the police for me, and she stayed with me from 10 o'clock until 1.15 in the afternoon. Yeah. But because of no witnesses, there's nothing that could have been done about it. Wow. But, but the officer, his name was Officer Brown, he took pictures and everything. And, and and took a report about it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what kind of sandwich was it? Was it like a homemade sandwich or like yeah, Subway? Uh, it, it was a homemade sandwich. Oh. Uh -huh. Ooh boy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but but he done me cost me to lose my sight for good. That's what Doctor Ye told me in the coma. If he didn't get to it in time, I would have been blind for the rest of my life. Oh wow, that would have been bad. Yeah, it would have been bad. Hey, I watch your show. Um, so when is the, when is your show on again? Again next time? Yeah, Friday evening at ten o'clock. Tuesday morning at ten thirty. Yeah. Yeah. The John, same I time frame. I watch your show every week. Thanks a lot, my friend. Yes. Have you ever well, seen? Uh, yeah. Have you ever seen this show? What's that? Not not yet, but 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 I keep my eyes open for it, buddy. All right. Hey, that's that's right. that sounds good. Okay, thanks, John. Uh, you Bye -bye. wanna put us? Put it back on with Friday now, or? Yeah, he is. Back on hold. Hey, guys. Well, that was good. Thanks, Freddie. Uh, I just wanted to th thanks for call being the producer. And uh, uh, no problem. I guess I guess that's it. All right. Thanks for be thanks for being the the host every day and uh, you know keeping with it. You make it happen all the time, and it's uh a pleasure to be a part of it and a pleasure to watch thanks all, all right. right we got we got some people have been trying to call while you were on the phone so okay have a bye-bye bye-bye whoa what's this no uh, uh, I'm not sure. uh oh it's john webster again you run up on my uh cell phone that's right trying to answer What? Oh, uh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> what? Can you hear me? You what, hello? Okay. Oh. I guess you're on the uh, speakerboard on my uh, old phone. Uh, uh, they got a oh. city council meeting tonight. I, uh, I talked to Robert and I got a city council meeting tonight. It's live on Channel 3 tonight if you, you want to watch, watch, watch it. Talk. Yeah, what is this? Uh, what is night?
Hey, how did the Karen Rogers uh, deal come out on the on the seventh of the uh, on the seventh of May? Yeah, that's coming Saturday. Wait, who's uh -huh. person? Okay, so we have one of... What? Now we're calling this other person who left you tried to call us. I don't know who this is. Hello? Uh, you called me back. This is Freddy. Oh, this is your cell phone? No, this is, uh, this is CCTV. Oh, do you guys have more than one number? What? No, we don't. Yeah, this is a different number. What? What is... This number we're, is... Uh, 360-956-3100. This, this was 3149. 3149? Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. I I used the same phone, to, and I don't know. That's really strange. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks, Freddie. Okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. Bye bye. <coughs> that was weird. Weird phone things, huh? What state do you think we should call McDonald's in? <laughs> huh? How many different states have you called so far? Think Probably all of them. Think of the state you haven't called yet? Mm. No. Let's call Tennessee. McDonald's in Tennessee. Would you have anything you want to ask McDonald's? I don't know. No? There's a lot more McDonald's on the west side than there is on the east, though. Have you seen, like, the map of, like, the fast food restaurants? On the west coast? In the United States, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, there's a lot more McDonald's in the west. Huh. Hello? Oh. Them. Uh, about the milkshakes, maybe? <laughs> oh, I want to tell Dad to go to talk to me. Talk to me oh. Yeah, maybe. We'll, are you, what do you think of meet him? Let's go to the Mexican restaurant. Uh oh, they didn't answer. McDonald's didn't answer. We'll call. I'll call my. We'll Wait. call him after the show's over. You always dead. Is he? Is he already going over there? No, but he might. What do you call? You should call him. Go call, call him. him. Go call him off the. We'll text him. You can text him. All right. My dad does text. I don't even do texts. <laughs> Trying to call his McDonald's in uh, Tennessee. We're gonna say, hey, McDonald's. McDon Hey, McDonald's, how you doing? Hey, I'm good, you? Oh, good. Do you guys have the orange milkshakes yet? Okay. Do we got what? Uh, orange, the milkshakes, the, the Arctic milkshakes? No, we don't have those. Oh, I'm waiting for those. I'm, I'm, they're coming pretty soon, right? They come in the summer, usually. You said what? The, they come in the summer. I'm waiting for them. Do you know when they're going to show up? What? He hung up on you? He hung up on me. What a mean guy. Let's call the next one. Tennessee? Yep. What a weird McDonald's employee. Sometimes they're nice. Uh-oh. Sometimes they're mean. Have you gotten a McDonald's milkshake recently? Uh, it's been a couple weeks. They're too fancy. They got fancier? All the McDonald's are too fancy now. They got the whipped cream and the cherries. Yeah. You know, like the whipped cream and the cherries? I don't know. McDonald's are trying too hard to be nice. Yeah. It's making their employees disgruntled. Is that what you think? <laughs> Can I help you? Yes. McDonald's? Yes. Do you have the orange milkshakes yet? No, we do not. Oh, do you know when they're coming? Because they usually come in the summer, right? Yeah, I don't know when we're gonna get them now. Oh, they don't have a you don't have a calendar or something? No, uh uh. Uh, I real I'm I'm just waiting for those. You know, I'm I'm thinking about them and it's almost the summer and you know the summer means orange milkshakes. No, nope. I don't know when they're coming. They'll uh, they'll get here soon though. Soon? Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Bye. Uh oh, something's going on with the with the machines. I don't know what it is. So you send that text? Yeah. We have about uh, 14 minutes left on the show here. Do you have anybody you want to call? Um, I don't know. You don't have anybody? Let's call, let's call Andrew. Okay. Let's call, we're going to call my brother. We'll all three be on here. Andrew's, oh yeah, me and Emily's brother are here. Let's see how he's doing. Calling our brother.
brother. Hey, guess who's on the program? Who's there? Hey, Andrew. Hey. <laughs> Who is it? Family. Family talk. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's family time on the show. Family time. I gotta cut family time short. I gotta go. Let's go over in pizzas. Okay, bye-bye. Um, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. That was family talk on the program. <laughs> so. Oh, and if Grandma's watching, hey, Grandma. Yeah, hi Grandma, let's see if he's there. It's called Dan Bennett back, he's got conjunctivitis. I don't know what that's like. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, behold, you have reached Lord Dan Pye. So they have all that I see before me. And also here, in this contraption machine thing. Oh, you must leave your name and the number that you have called. Yes, this is because I am too much of a chintzy, tight one, skin tilt, cheap skin bastard to pay for girl ID. So, leave a message. It will make me happy. And it will also please me. Yes, Hey, Dan, it's the program. Um, if you're screening your phone calls, you can answer now. Otherwise... I wanted to know about how conjunctivitis is. Uh, I don't really know much about it other than it's an infection of your eyeball. Uh, what's it like? Is it making you dizzy? Is it making you snotty? Uh, what are you, what else? Itchy. Itchy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what's the, what are you doing about it? Are you getting some kind of per treatment? The eye drops. Eye drops? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're getting eye drops. you have anything else you want to ask, Dan? All right, thanks, Dan. Calls back. Okay, see you later. Yep, Dan has pink eye. Uh, that's bad. Let's call Keith. It's Keith. You don't know Keith? You were Keith? What, your old friend? Yes, old Keith. I'm calling him on the program. Raffle ticket? For what? For the show, the show raffle. You can, you should fill one out. Did we have raffle tickets last time you came here? No. So you write your name and you write your name and phone number on the top one, and then you just write your name on the bottom one. Okay. And then you get to go in the raffle. The raffle. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message What's the system. Raffle? Three six zero nine oh. one five. Three six. At the Wait, tone, who are we calling? Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang I up. I forgot who we're calling. One for more okay. Oh, Keith. Hey, Keith, this is the program. Call us back. Bye-bye. All right. So, yeah, you get, get you fill that out, and then we'll do a mock draw. Did you do it? Yep. You did it? What? <laughs> <laughs> write your name oh, on... I too hard. You, yeah, chore two. You write your name on, on... Phone number on this one. You just write your name on that one. And then uh, we'll fill them out, and we'll get a thing going here. So write your name on there, on the top one, and name and phone number, and then we're going to get uh, get the calls going here. Yeah, let's call Jessica. She hasn't been on the program in a while, and we'll see how she's doing. And then we'll do a mock draw. Oh. Uh-oh. And then you write your name on this one, too. And then <laughs> He's like, name on it, you keep it. <laughs> hey, Jessica, it's a program. See how you're doing. It's been a while, so call us back. Okay, see you later. All right, so uh, let's put uh, your name in here, and then we'll do a mock draw. This is what the drawing you could, this is how people could win in the future. So who's going to win the mock draw? Find out. It'll be exciting. All right, here, pick one. This is well, for the mock draw. Here. This is the mock draw for the raffle. Who is it? Is it Andrew? No, it's Dandrew. Andrew? Dandrew won the mock draw. Let's call him. Say, hey, Dandrew, you won the mock draw. Dandrew won the mock draw.
Let's do one. This is not even for a phone call. Less of a mock anything mock draw here. Draw one more for fun. This is the, the winner, but they don't get a thing. Lillian. Lillian of the high strangeness. Hey, what's up, Kenny? Danju, you won the mock draw today. You're where are you? You you won the mock draw. The mock draw? Yeah, you won it. Oh, wild! What do I get? You get the phone. We're calling you because you won. It's a, it's only a mock draw. It's not a real real drawing. Cool. Hey, do you know what tomorrow is? Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, that we did that last week, but yeah, it's tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I always forget you guys travel through time different than the rest of us. Yeah, that's we, pretty cool. We did do our Friday the Thirteenth special, and that's gonna be airing tomorrow, though. Yeah, I should watch it. That's gonna be oh. exciting. How are you doing, Dandrew? I'm pretty good. I just got back from Redmond. Like, I went to. I was catch corner to the Microsoft uh, offices, like where I was staying. Uh huh. And um. Yeah, at the Microsoft offices, they have, like, these flags, right? And then, then there's, like, the one flag is the great state of Washington, and then in the middle is, um, you know, like, American flag. And then, like, on one side, the other side is Microsoft's flag, Windows 7, all hail. It's Whoa. a pretty cool compound. Everyone's dressed really casually and has hella expensive cars and hella expensive bikes. Cool. Yeah, I like I, I like Microsoft. I want to go there, maybe. Yeah, you should come. What did you do? What did, what did you do there? Pull yeah, pull blackberries. Oh, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, that's good. Hey, so do you want to come back yeah. onto the program? I know you, you. We scheduled you a day that it got missed. Do you want to come back some other time? Yeah, I can come tomorrow. Just tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, tomorrow is good. B before uh, I have to start the program before uh, three thirty tomorrow, though. So anytime before three thirty, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I tried to come and find you guys like someday Sunday maybe, but it didn't work. So yeah. I'll try again. And if you're there, you're there. If not, like you know, some other time. Yeah, it'll be maybe. I want to start the show around three o'clock. I think. All right, I'll shoot for three. Okay, that sounds great then. Cool. We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow, Dandrew, and we'll, I guess we'll hear your stories tomorrow. All right. All right. Thanks. Manana. All right. That was Dandrew. He's gonna be on the show tomorrow. We're getting down to it. See, you didn't. You didn't know if you're gonna be on the show the whole hour, but huh? Almost five minutes left. But it goes through, and it's not that. It's not that hard, right? You think it was harder than you thought it was gonna be, or? We got a lot of calls today. Some it easier. Yeah. So you think it was gonna? You like you like? I don't know if I can do the whole hour, but that's what people think. But it went. It's going by pretty fast, right? Yeah, but I didn't have much to say. <laughs> yeah. You haven't seen anything exciting on the streets? What about in Pullman? Nothing in the streets in Pullman. There's no fights. You see any bars? You didn't see any bar fights? No. Nothing like that. No bar fights. Nope. What about frat frat party fights? Uh, I've never seen one, but I've heard about some. What well, what what did you hear about? I told you about that guy that comes to he comes to my class and he always has like one time he came with his bloody like talking to your mic. He came uh, to class. Yeah. And his his arm was in like a bandage thing. D yeah. Yeah, it's because he got in a fight with some guy or no no he got drunk and they punched a window, and then one time he came in and it's like his eye like some of the vessels had popped, and it's because he got in a fight with this guy and like fell down some stairs. The guy threw him down the stairs. Uh, I don't know. I think he just fell. He's too drunk. <laughs> That's not a fight. <laughs> well, no, he was, he was fighting with this guy, and then like he kind of fell down the stairs. But I don't know if he like, I don't know. But he made his lie. He says he, got, he says he gets in lots of fights. He says he gets into fights, but it sounds like he's just tripping when he's drunk. Yeah, and punching windows. He's just punching windows. He's like, I got in a fight, but really he's just hurting himself. <laughs> he's trying to be cool. Yeah. Here, let's call Tony C. <laughs> we gotta tell Tony C that he's gonna. Um, C in the Jets. Tony C in the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe I'm calling the wrong number. I should be calling his other number. Please enter the extension of the iCall user you are trying to reach. Yeah, that's the wrong one. I gotta call this other one. We're gonna call Tony C. Tell him that the, the YouTube we're working on it. But we're, we got a new hard drive and it messed us up a little bit. But we're working on getting his episodes up. Wait, I thought all your episodes are up. 
What? I thought all your episodes are up on YouTube. We're we're not our newest ones. We're we got a new hard drive and we're like a week behind on, on putting them up on YouTube right now. So uh oh. Our old ones are up, but we're, we're a little bit getting slowed down a little bit on putting our new ones up. But we're gonna working on it. But Tony. Hello. Hey Tony C. Hey. Hey, it's it's the program. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, we're doing good. Tony, I wanted to I wanted to tell you that we're on about YouTube and that we're we're working on putting your episode up there, the one that you guys called in on the other day, you know? Alright. So good. somebody the kid, uh what's his name? Kid DJ or something? Yeah, that's that's me. Oh that's you? Yeah. Yeah, you've been wanting to get the uh to get the episodes up, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, we are working on it. We got a new hard drive, and that actually made us go a little bit slower. So we're a little bit behind right now on the YouTube, but we're putting him up there. It's going to happen soon. Okay. All right. That's good. Yeah, Tony. So uh, are, are, you, are you okay after you, you – I heard you got hit by a car. Remember that? Are you all good from that? Have you healed up from that? Yeah, I'm fine. It's, I'm I'm pretty good now. You know, I don't have any, I don't have any issues walking or anything. I'm I'm fine now. Oh, that's good. Well, hey, is anything else? Have you seen anything exciting lately? Well, no, not really, not lately. That's good. Are you uh, are you guys ready for your tour yet? Your your world tour? Well, we gotta we gotta prepare for it, but you know we're gonna try and do it. That's gonna be exciting. Well, uh, okay. Thanks, Tony. I guess that's it. I don't have anything to say. You have anything else to say? Uh, unfortunately, not right now. That sounds good. Well, you'll be on there. We're gonna put you on YouTube very soon. All right. Okay. Thanks. See you later. You too, man. All right. We have uh, about two minutes left on the show here. You know, I had some, I had some really long stories. And some important things to say, but I don't think I'm going to have time for them today. Uh, I guess I'll have to say them tomorrow. So if you guys tune in tomorrow, we're going to be on TCTV, Channel 22 at 1130. You can get on there. Uh, you don't have anybody to call? You don't want to call your friends? Tell them you're on TV, anything like that? Huh? I don't know. No? All right, well, we have one two... M- oh, one minute left. You know, I guess we'll just go through the last minute by ourselves here. Uh, you know, don't, don't stop doing what you're trying to do, you know, don't quit your, your things, don't quit them, keep doing them, you know, sometimes if you think you, you can't, you can't do a thing, can't finish a thing, just, just finish it, just don't stop, and then you get through it, that's what I have to say in the last minute here of the program, uh, it's the big finale of the show here, where it's gonna get super exciting, we're doing crazy things, uh, look, look, Whoa, 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 crazy last minute of the show here, so we're getting down to it, yeah, it's pretty exciting, whoa, whoa, last minute, last minute camera changing, so we're getting down to the last minute of the show, and that's what's happening on the program today, so tune in tomorrow for Dan Drew on Friday, and thanks for watching. Okay, thanks for having me. Yeah, we're looking for a uh, crew. So if you guys want to be on a crew of a TV show, well you can do it. We're also on this contest thing where you can nominate a category and a thing. Thanks, viewers. Thanks for watching the show. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks, TCTV. This is where we're broadcast from, also the internet. Thanks, LaBebe. You can check it out at Dumpster Values. Go buy stuff. It's good. Thanks, call or text. You guys can be your sponsors, too, and it'll be good. You can be a sponsor for the show, and you can be part of it. So have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye.